everybody, this is Nia Feiler and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week, hello Georgia, for the week between the 28th, hey hello to you too, 28th of June to July 6th if I'm not mistaken, yes, yes, I am not mistaken, thank you Georgia for intervening. Uh, this is where I talk about the celestial soup we're all swimming in, um, the s energies that we are dealing with. And before I even start, I want to say that um, there's a new webinar course through Zoom, a beginner's class that is opening. If you want to study with me through Zoom, please contact me. By the end of this course, you'll know how to open a chart yourself for yourself and others, and you'll know the whole base, all the tools you need to know, evolutionary astrology, in order to interpret a chart. So, uh, for more details, please contact me, and of course, for personal readings as well. The first part is about the energy that we're swimming in, in English, with no astrologic uh, phrases inside. And then the second part is more about the aspects themselves. So, what kind of a week is this? This is a week with low tolerance, with a short fuse. Yes, George, I know you have a short... Well, you know, you might have your period, you know. It's it's this time of the month. Um, I think I have mine too. Anyway. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, it's a time that we could lash out, that we could get angry over things, people, projects that we feel are filling us, are, are, are leaving us behind or are not advancing fast enough or not seeing the changing picture as they should and we could be intolerant we could feel as well that we are breaking down a huge boulder with our hammer and it takes much longer and it is much harder than we thought we had a feeling we we're gonna get this immediate result but things are being postponed things are being delayed we understand this is not a 400 meter run this is a 40 kilometer run or a, a 42 mile kilo, uh, a 42 mile run you know this is a marathon not a sprint and that we need to act and utilize our power and effort strategically that we need to take up a pace that we could keep up that is sustainable for us and the feeling that we don't exactly know where things are going, that the truth is really blurred and, you know, veiled, that we are not, you know, that there's, we cannot trust what is being said, that, you know, there's, there's uncertainty regarding where things are going, regarding all kinds of moves and and and, uh, and 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 stages that had to be taken that were already agreed upon and suddenly there's a change in plans again suddenly things aren't clear again suddenly time is ripe again for misunderstanding and mistakes um, However, there is a lot of great positive energy in the sky that helps us take all of these challenges and actually utilize them to harness, harness that energy to make the changes needed in our lives to take ourselves forward, to free ourselves from the chains of the past. And there's a lot of positivity there and a lot of creativity there and a lot of light energy that you know lifts us up that makes us more buoyant in a sense that doesn't let us you know uh, sink down to the mud and that's a good thing so that's about the energy of the week let's talk about the aspects tuesday the 29th good energy in the sky just of you know i like i like how it looks there's a trine between the moon and the sun and the moon is trining uranus it's it's really helping us you know put new things into our life and update things and and see ourselves in a new light and upgrade our self-image as well and Wednesday the 30th on the other hand is ripe for miscommunication so make sure you are understood clearly make sure you understand things clearly make sure things are written clearly and if you are you know um, if you have a change of plans you know 
as they say, prepare for the unexpected. Um, Thursday, the 1st of July, Mars is going to oppose Saturn. This is the aspect I was talking about. It's a weekly aspect. We're going to feel the whole week. And this is the, the feeling that, you know, this is a much bigger boulder and it's going to take us much more time to break it down, that things aren't immediate, that this is strategic, and it's hard and it's frustrating. Um, Friday the 2nd of July has beautiful energies in the sky, a lot of activity and a lot of energy. It's a great day to work out. It's a great day to progress things in your job. Um, it's a great day for deals. Saturday the 3rd, dramatic day emotionally. Calm yourselves. Uh, Sunday the 4th, Mars squares Uranus exactly. Again, a weekly transit. We're going to feel it a few days before, a few days after. This is the short leash. This is the 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 sh the, the hot temper. This is the short fuse I was talking about before, not the short leash, the short fuse. This is the, the, the immediate need to walk forward and the intolerance to actually wait for anything or anybody that ties me down. Um, and, and, and Sunday itself through, through the day to the evening is turbulent, turbulent. So um, it's a great day to really, you know, not let your emotions rule you. Uh, Monday the 5th, the sun sextiles Uranus. It really helps us update our lives, walk forward, be flexible, see things in a new light and see ourselves in a new light. Indeed, see how we need to change and upgrade who we are. And then Tuesday the 6th, we have Mercury squaring Neptune, I think for the last time for a while. And um, this is the feeling that, you know, there's a vague veil over reality that really doesn't let us discern between the real and the unreal, the imagined, the conspiracy, the, you know, it's also a time that moves that have been planned, you know, plans that have been agreed upon change again. So patience, patience. Um, that's about everything I had to say today. I want to thank you for listening and sharing these videos that expose them to more people. And most importantly, at this time, take good care of yourselves and, 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 and your loved ones. And I'd be happy to hear from you. May we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Feiner. Bye-bye.